Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. And today we're gonna look at what you need for Shadow Lord. They'll be coming to the game soon. <laughs> How soon? I have no idea. But I try to make, you know, as close as possible to what Global has now, currently, as of this video. So everybody needs 100% resistances to dark, or a way to buff resistance to dark, which promotes is here, but we don't need it. Just, she's just here as an example of someone who can be a dark buffer, a dark resistance buffer, but a lot of other units can do the same thing, like Sylvie, and things of that nature, so yeah, and you dodge provoke tank, which would be very much preferred. Actually, we don't even need this. Past me thought that was fine, I guess, having more than 100% provoke. Yeah, everybody has 100% dark resistance, and uh, let's go. Now the challenges for this boss are because he dispels himself often in this fight, so that you have to re reapply breaks and perils, which is detrimental to you. But if you're able to, you know, recover quickly enough, then he'll be alright. All right. Now see, there's a reason why I didn't use my 80% breaks right away, because I know he's going to get rid of them pretty quick. So don't go all out first thing. I don't go all out on the first uh, turn. I figure out her rotation, by the way, by myself. I don't want to use both cooldowns, because you want to wait for that other... You want to wait, you want to wait for the other cooldown to come... You got to wait for the next turn. So... Ouch. Okay. okay. I guess he didn't cover. So he got screwed. Those kind of things can happen where your, your tank just doesn't want to cover or you just take too much damage. And see, now he just spelled himself. That's, that's not a good situation to be in, that's for sure. But now we can do this, this, and this. I was going to have Wall do in peril, but obviously we can't do that now. I guess Wall just doesn't feel like covering those. Now let's go ahead and get a light and barrel going. Dark resistance is very much needed. And you can silence your team, but I mean, do you really care about that? I mean, genuinely do you care about being silenced? At this point in the game, I'm not sure you care. Not so certain. Perils often, which is really annoying. Uh, you get sort of the every pretty much everything on this kit, and I mean on this, on this person. That's kind of annoying. I think we don't have any perils this turn. Now we can. We can once again do in perils.
really like this music, by the way. So really good. So as you can see, we were much better off than the previous turns. Those other ones were just pretty funny, but. Now we're doing good. The damage is not immensive. But it is okay. Those are probably uncoverable moves. I mean, it's kind of obvious I'm just teasing at this point. So those are some hits you have to endure. The reason why I'm doing that move, by the way, every time, is it only lasts for one turn, the mod boost. So it is what it is on that one. So you guys are getting the picture now and you just have to have dark resistance as some mitigation. Make sure you have a, some way of, you know, having a breaker that can break breaks up fairly quickly uh, and recover. And yeah, being able to do perils again and all that kind of stuff is pretty self explanatory. I just skipped back past the rest of the fight because he does a bunch of mitigation. You know, like how you guys remember the rage fight where he switches between like magic and physical he kind of does that at the end so I just went ahead and skipped that but he does do three turns of mitigation he swaps between them so it was, it was kind of boring so I just went ahead and uh you know then go ahead and you know record that part but basically what you need really really need ways to get in perils and the turn that he dispels which is pretty much every turn pretty much uh after a certain point you need a break every certain every single turn without inconvenience. That's the whole point of this trial is is being inconvenienced because you have to re imperil and re re break and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, will probably be better units on global when it comes out at this point. Uh, Primrose probably could be swapped out for someone a little better. Pain is pretty good, but could be someone a little better as well. 
Hopefully someone, someone actually has built-in imperils. Um, other than that, I think that's I think that's all we're gonna cover today. So, um, bring better mitigation than I brought for the beginning part, because it was not enough. We'll bring someone who has decent mitigation for that for those uh, slashes. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys hope this helped you out. If you have any more questions about this fight, please leave a comment down below. And if you watch all the way through, type in hashtag pain. That's what I felt at the beginning of the fight, I guess. Hashtag pain. Hey guys, peace.